Hey, good morning, Valley. So yesterday I said that there was no tropical activity expected for the next couple days, but I think I jinxed it because the National Hurricane Center is looking at an area out in the Atlantic that has a low 10% chance of road development for the next two and seven days, and it's not going to affect us here in the Rio Grande Valley. So that's actually good news. However, we're still expected to get some tropical moisture later on today, just like yesterday. So it's going to be a little bit of a copy and paste forecast for you. So here's a closer look at the rainfall totals for the past 24 hours. Now, most of us across the valley got rain, but not everyone got the same amount. So areas that got the most was in Hidalgo County, especially in Wesico and Hidalgo. They got a little bit over an inch of rain and that could potentially happen once again today. Some areas could have anywhere from close to an inch or a little bit less than an inch, but much needed rain is expected for different parts of the valley. And that's actually going going to help us become a little bit cooler and the cloud cover as well. So very similar to yesterday, the high for Browns was going to be 93, Harlingen 94, McAllen 95, and Rio Grande City 92. But of course, if areas receive a little bit more cloud cover and rain, we could see temperatures a little bit cooler than just the mid and low 90s. And yesterday I said that it wasn't going to be a good idea to wash your car and that goes the same thing for today. However, as we head toward the weekend, things are going to start drying out. A few stray showers could be possible for Saturday, but mostly dry conditions and with hot temperatures are expected. So just wait a little bit to wash your car, save your money for one more day because again, rain and storms will start to filter in toward the mid morning hours, but they're just going to start along the lower valley and then eventually become a little bit more widespread. And most of us will receive some rain and storms and we could have heavy downpours at times. So just be careful on the roads. Give yourself some extra time and slow down if you need to. But like I said, things will be drying up for the weekend and that's going to be the main story as we head toward this upcoming work week and we could even have some heat.